Hi, my name is Celine van der Vaart and I'm the COO at Herex, one of Africa's foremost health tech companies, which has grown into the second largest player in the e-commerce hearing care space in the USA within the last 20 months. Our current turnover is over 68 million rand per annum, and we have experienced year-on-year growth of 88%, 315% and 511% over the last three years in the midst of a global pandemic. I personally believe that why we can do this is because women are at the heart of Herex with over 61% representation on our management levels. As Herex, we build smart audiological health tech that aims to democratize and decentralize hearing healthcare provision worldwide. Our innovative, world-first and award-winning technologies help the 466 million people suffering from hearing loss worldwide and stands them in good stead to be connected to their families, their communities and their workplaces, empowering them to better health and better life outcomes. We acknowledge that there is a lot of work that we still need to do as a worldwide collective to ensure women empowerment. And this is especially true in the healthcare, tech, and pharma spaces. Um, as we talk through these challenges, though, we, we hope to show that Herex is a great example of how empowering women leads to greater innovation and success. SMMEs play a key role in transition and in developing countries. These companies typically account for over 90% of all companies outside of the agricultural sector and thus constitute a major source of employment. Unfortunately, though, the SMME environment tends to be unfriendly towards women and gender empowerment. At the same time, it should be said, though, that some of the most forward thinking com companies with regards to women empowerment sit within the SMME sector, including Herex. So as a result, I don't think that it's fair to judge the category as a whole. You need to look at each individual, each individual company in isolation. At the end of the day, it is true, unfortunately, that the majority of SMMEs are just not doing enough and that the SMME environment is generally unfriendly towards gender empowerment, as these companies tend to have unfavorable policies as a result of their limited resources, limited capacity and definite constraints with regards to flexibility. There is a lot of misinformation around the employment of women that then feeds these unfriendly policies, especially with regards to women with families or plans to have one. These are unjustified fears, and I wish I could scream this from a rooftop. Companies that are led by women have been proven to be more profitable, more innovative, and to have a lower staff turnover. In an environment like Herex, we appreciate that women are self-starters innovators, multitaskers, and master strategists. We're used to holding and playing multiple roles at the same time, or context switching. This actually makes women incredibly in, uh, invaluable in an SMME environment where one role often has to play multiple roles at the same time. I think that we can do better by ensuring fair and accurate spreading of information. I think we can do better by talking about challenges and shortcomings openly. We should have better maternity policies, better flexible working hours to allow for further study or skill development. We should do better by not only making a seat at the table, but by creating the opportunity to have a voice and an impact. When designing an organization or a board, it's important to see gender reflected else only one perspective is heard. I would describe Herex's management control system as being between the decentralization and the coordination phase because profit centers are defined and managers are motivated through increased autonomy and incentives and internal and control reporting systems help monitor the activities of lower level managers. At the same time, strategic decisions are centralized and incentives are linked to organizational performance. It is important to us at Herex um, and reflected in our structure that our strategic decisions are centralized and agreed upon by a diverse group of MACO members, of which 63% are female, representing a range of disciplines and professional qualifications so that we get diverse perspectives. At the same time, it is important to us that our strategic implementations and KPI management is decentralized to empower the various levels of management to enact such strategies. 
We manage our management tracks and personal development through our robust HR system, which is overseen by an external agency so that we can monitor that it is fair, transparent and ethically sound. There are a number of barriers that we can discuss when it comes to women empowerment, but the main one I'd like to focus on is time. To work in healthcare, health tech or pharma, you need to be very well qualified. That requires a long amount of time and money to study, even longer to specialize. The hours in SMMEs are generally rather unfavorable towards further development and training, earning your CPD points, for instance. The rigid inflexibility and limited resources are also generally unfair towards the traditional role of a woman, which, while I don't agree, is a woman's responsibility. Unfortunately, it's just still how our society conducts itself. This is a societal shortcoming and not an industry shortcoming alone, but building working environments through which women can have a burgeoning career in addition to fulfilling other roles is important to ensure that women still get their fair place at the table. I think that in a lot of ways, Herex gets the culture balance correct in that our company values start with people first. And while that also extends outwards towards our customers, it is mostly aimed internally. A good reminder that we are humans before we are employees and that there is a requirement on us as an organization to be kind, flexible and nurturing to one another in both a professional and a personal sense. Herex's fast growth, progressive policies towards allowing for further training, studying and development, our hybrid working models and our fair pay policies puts us in a position where we are literally putting our money where our mouth is and our action as well. And this is why I believe we deserve to win this award.